Hello, grade one. Good morning. So happy to see you. Hope you enjoyed your long weekend. Our date is April 21st, 2020. And let's start our class. Our schedule for today is going to be message, special plurals, plurals that end with S and E, S and I, E, S, prefixes, un and re, sight words, and then the practice book. Okay, let's read the message. I was in the kitchen eating peaches. Some foxes were running after bunnies. The boy catches the ball. Now, you're going to notice here, this word, the base word is peach. If I have one, I have one peach, but if I have many peaches, I say peaches. Can I say peaches? Peaches like this without this E? No. I have to say peaches, foxes. Bunnies, catches. Okay, notice that when a word is plural, it sometimes ends with an S or ES or IES. If a word ends with X or SH or CH, SH or CH or S or S. We add ES to the end to make the plural, the plural. For example, fox becomes foxes, box becomes boxes, dish becomes dishes, brush becomes brushes, peach, peaches, watch, watches, a watch, watch that I wear my hand to know the time. Also, verbs ending with X or SH or CH or S or SS. For example, they watch the movie. If I have many people, they are watching a movie, I say they watch a movie. But it's, if it's only one person, I say he watches the movie. The kids wash their hands, but the boy, one boy only washes his hands. If words end with Y, now the rule is I cross the Y and add I, E, S. I cross the Y and add I, E, S. For example, bunny becomes bunnies. City becomes cities. Family becomes families. Now, later on, when we're in grade 2 and grade 3, we're going to learn more about the plurals and about these rules. Prefixes. Okay, a prefix is a word part that is added at the beginning of a base word. It's a word part that is added at the beginning of a base word. <clears throat> I have re, I'll start with re. Re means to do again. Refill, rewrite. Okay, refill. Do you remember in the class when your water bottle is empty and then you say, I will refill it. Refill, rewrite. If I don't like your handwriting, I will erase it and I will ask you to rewrite it. Repaint. Repaint. Okay, if, if it's been a long time and you didn't paint your room and the paint is going off, so it is better to repaint it. Repaint. Resell. You buy something and you sell it again. Resell. Retell. Retell. When you ask me to retell the story, I'm sure that most of you retold the stories many times. Reread. Reread means to read again. Okay, remember when I ask you to reread the story many times because this will make your reading perfect. So re is to do again. 
Now, un, un, it means not or, or not to or the opposite of. If I say I'm unhappy, this is the opposite of happy, like sad. I'm unhappy. I'm not happy. Untrue. If I say no, this is untrue. It means it's false. It didn't happen. It's not true. Unpack. Okay, when you, uh, if you were on a trip and you came back home and you have your bags, you have to unpack your bag. It means to uh, get your clothes out of the bag. Okay, unlock, unlock. It means not to lock, it means to open. For example, if your mobile, if it has a password or something and you want to open it and then you go to your mom or your dad and you ask them, please, mom and dad, can you unlock the mobile or unlock the iPad or the laptop? Unzip, unzip. If you want to take off your clothes, you have to unzip your, your jackets and your pants. Now, let's try to read these words. Re, huh, I'm not going to read it. You try. Reheat. Excellent. Reheat. It means to heat again. If your food is, is cold, uh, you put it in, your, in, uh, in the microwave to reheat it. Reheat. Repack. Repack. Uh, if you go to Sharmi Sheikh or something, and then you go the first day you unpack your bag and then you stay for four days and then you have to repack them again re means to pack again unplug unplug okay after you finish charging your phone you unplug it okay now, sight words, sight words of this week that will help us in reading the story. After and then before. After and before are opposites. Okay, after, um, after you go home, please wash your hands before you touch anything. So after you get in the house, Wash your hands before you touch anything. Buy, to buy means to pay money for something, to pay for something. Okay, pretty, pretty. This is a pretty girl. This is a pretty dress. Pretty means looks nice. Done, done means complete. Are you done with your homework? Yes, I'm done with my homework means I finished it. Off. Off, it's the opposite of on. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, there is a truck and I want to put some boxes on the truck. And then I will unload the boxes off the truck. Wash, brushes, brushes. Okay, um, if you want to paint your room, you have to get some paint brushes. Paint brushes, or it has another meaning like a verb. Uh, she brushes her hair. So it has two meanings. It could be a noun like a brush, or it could be a verb like brushes or brush. I like to brush my hair every day. Unloaded. Uh, the man unloaded the boxes of the truck. Like we said, boxes, unpack, repaid. Repaid, it means to pay for something back, to pay it back. For example, uh, if somebody, he got me a gift and I repaid this by getting him, uh, getting him flowers. Or um, uh, if somebody visits me, and then I have to repay the visit. By visiting him again, repaid. Okay, school, and the last word, 
families okay families uh, okay okay there was a y here it was family if i'm talking about one family it's going to be family but because there are many families so i cross the y and add i e s now the practice book okay add es or ies to each base word then write the new word okay dish okay one dish but many huh? dishes excellent so i'm gonna write i'm gonna write it and then i'm gonna add es hatch okay hatch is a verb the the chick will hatch out of the egg soon and then after it hatches i say the egg hatches out of the egg or it hatched out of the egg so now i will add es hatches okay i uh, this okay this is one one bunny but these are many bunnies i'll cross the y and add i e s Number four, fox becomes foxes, glass becomes glasses, peach becomes peaches. And as I said, when you're in grade two and grade three, you're going to learn about this more. Read the story, circle the words with un and re, write the words below. I think I forgot to pack my socks. Now I have to unpack my bag to check. First, I must unsnap it. Then I will have to refill it. I don't mind redoing it. So I'm going to circle the words with un and re and I'm going to write them here. Your homework is the practice book page 211 and 212 along with revising the sight words so your homework is 211 and 212 and make sure that you understand and you can read the sight words thank you and have a nice day grade one